Hey everyone, Meredith Dale here from Intentional Marketer University. Welcome to day number three inside of our 29 day plan to success. Let's jump right into what we're talking about today. It's a big one. How to combat procrastination. Uh, everyone deals with it. I mean, we deal with it inside of Intentional Marketer University, but not as much as we used to because I think the number one thing is when you're really excited about your business, it doesn't feel like work. So you're not so eager to procrastinate and put things off. You're eager to go and start your job, get your work done, and really conquer the day. So that's number one. Just kind of do an overview uh, to see if you're really into what you're selling, into what your business is. If that's a yes, great. Let's move on through the checklist for today, through the smart steps for today. Make a smart to-do list of the items you know that you're avoiding, not the ones you know you're gonna do anyways. Promise yourself a treat when you've completed the task. This one's huge. We know we're gonna do certain tasks in our business. For example, we know we're going to post to social media. We know maybe every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday we send out an email to our lead list. But what about writing a, a very long blog post that you've been putting off because you really don't want to do it, but you know you have to. Those are the type of things that you need on your smart to-do list, on the to-do list that you don't want to do. Then at the bottom of that list, put a big, huge treat that you're going to do for yourself. For me personally, it would be to go get like a big brownie sundae or something just covered in vanilla ice cream and chocolate. That's me you choose yours. Let's move on to the second one. Break down that task that you don't want to do to lessen the sense of being overwhelmed. Once you enjoy an accomplishment or two, you're more likely to complete the entire task. So let's go back to that monster blog post that you've been meaning to write. So break it down. And you know, there's no shame in breaking it down to the simplest form. So for example, if I were to do a blog post that I wasn't really looking forward to doing, I would start by write the title. Okay, a title is huge, believe it or not, because that's your in to get people to read it. Write the title. Write an intro paragraph. Write the body. <clears throat> you know, a couple however many, you know, a couple thousand words for the body, a couple hundred words for the body, write the conclusion, write your calls to action. So as you're going through that, you can check them off one by one and you're feeling a sense of accomplishment. Let's move on. Create a detailed deadline with specific milestones toward completing the task. So for example, maybe you're doing a big product launch and that's what you need to have the blog post ready to go for. Or maybe it's a video post or it's something, you know, this can be anything. I'm just using the blog post as an example. You have to have that deadline. If it's due by March 16th, that's your deadline. What are you going to do each day moving up to that deadline? It could be spend two days formulating the, the headline or the topic. You know, five days formulating the body if that's 100 words or 500 words. If it's a really long video, you spend those days researching. Break it down and give yourself a set amount of days to complete each task so that when, say, March 15th rolls around, I personally always like to have my deadline a day or two before the actual deadline so that by March 13th, 14th, whenever your, your, your day is, you can say, yep, got it done. March 16th comes and all you have to do is schedule it. As we like to say, set it and forget it, right? That was an old infomercial. <laughs> Let's move on to the next one. Reduce the distractions. This one is huge. Leave the smartphone. If you guys watched day number one video, I put my phone in a drawer somewhere. I put it on vibrate. I put it in a drawer while I'm working. So put the smartphone away. Uh, turn off the TV. Huge. Put a movie for the kids on downstairs. Pop them some popcorn. Tell them, hey, mom is working for one hour. Dad needs to get this done. I've got one hour that I've set my timer for. You guys have your popcorn. You've got some sodas. The movie is on. And then you go upstairs. You close the door. You reduce the distractions. You get it done. 
finally, you celebrate with the treat outlined in number one. So again, for me, it would be that huge brownie sundae. For you, it might be something completely different, but this is how you overcome procrastination because trust us when we say in Intentional Marketer University of the hundreds of clients we've worked with and the thousands of people that we've talked to, procrastination is what kills 97% of home business owners. It just blows them out of the water. The 3% who stay successful, they keep moving on. They keep working through, checking things off their list and getting things done. So you're gonna see Anne DeVito tomorrow. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye, and I will see you again on day number five. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.